Okay, okay. Here are the other two. Now, really, I need your honest opinion. I want to make a good impression on the people at the gallery. Well, in that case, forget the paintings. Go buy yourself something a little off the shoulder. <laughs> Our KY3 production, and we'd like the opportunity to visit. <laughs> Next production. Fine, fine. I have tried to explain to you about how my I haven't been involved with anyone in a long, long time, and how when I am involved with people, it doesn't work out. Oh no, that's not it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Tonight, it's All Star TV censored bloopers. That free. <laughs> With your host, Dick Clark. And special guest, LL Cool J with bloopers from In the House. And Cynthia Stevenson with Hope and Gloria outtakes. Plus bloopers from the news and animal bloopers. With all-star bloopers from Baywatch, Caroline in the City, Coach, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Mad About You, Saturday Night Live, and your favorite soap operas, plus outtakes starring Conan O'Brien, Geraldo Rivera, Regis and Kathy Lee, Lisa Gibbons, Joe Montana, Shaquille O'Neal and Hakeem Olajuwon, Burt Reynolds and Charles Durning, and Suzanne Summers, and much, much more. And now, here is the host of Bloopers, Dick Clark! Thank you very much and uh, good evening. Welcome to a brand new edition of Bloopers. Now, we promise you an evening filled with laughs and stars and one-of-a-kind moments. Like this first one that features uh, Geraldo Rivera. There is in this clip a rare piece of memorabilia, and I happen to be a real collector of memorabilia. I've, I've got things like... Uh, Elvis Presley's cape. I've got granny glasses that John Lennon owned. These are things that can't be duplicated. Now, an item of that type was handed to Geraldo on one of his recent shows. It seems that uh, his producer had been to the original Woodstock uh, concert. That was back in, uh, what, 1969. And he had saved his ticket. It's in perfect condition. He'd saved it all these years. This is an irreplaceable item. Watch. Uh, from this uh, vault, the uh, executive producer of this broadcast, Bob Fassbender, can you get a tight shot of that, was actually there. You know, they, they say that uh, all the people claiming to have been, oops, oh God. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bob. <laughs> I think I want the show. All those years, all those years. <laughs> a little crazy clip. Right. I'm so sorry. Oh God, I've never. It's a live show. <laughs> You've probably heard of Murphy's Law. You know, uh, anything that can go wrong will go wrong. It has long been my fantasy that Murphy worked in the prop department. Take a look at these bloopers with props. Now, all Jerry Van Dyke has to do is open that envelope. What video? The search for Elvis. <laughs> it's an amazing and startling uh, documentary. You know how much I love Elvis. <laughs> I can't get it up. I can't get it up. Let me help you. Let's... Now, in a moment, this actor is supposed to answer his portable telephone. It is personal, and from now on, it's all downhill. Excuse me, I think that's for me. Harrison. Ivan Davidson is supposed to hang her jacket on the hook. Chrissy. How far are you prepared to go to neutralize Mr. Frame? We shall do whatever it takes. <laughs> Here, 
Dorito and chicken. Enjoy. Enjoy. Excuse me. Now, in this dress rehearsal from Saturday Night Live, the script calls for a robot to come busting Enjoy. through a wall that easily breaks away. You know, props are very important to the realism of a scene, but sometimes they can become a sort of a problem. Take the scene from Fresh Prince of Bel Air, featuring Will Smith, Alfonso Ribeiro, and a blender. A blender that won't cooperate. Will hits him with the paper like he's supposed to, but the blender won't turn off. Alfonso needs help. Oh, oh easy, Will. Now it turned off too fast. <laughs> now they've told Alfonso just, you know, pull the plug. <laughs> he can't get the lid off. It is one of those days, Alfonso. What is that? <laughs> now, in this segment, supermodel Kim Alexis is supposed to master the art of windsurfing. Uh, good! That's great! Just like you're sitting in a chair! Well, she's got it now. Yeah. Oop. <laughs> Third time is the charm, Kim. As you all know, we reconfigured the bandstand the other day. We moved it over to the side, and Max is now on a platform. Max, uh, what do you think? Tell me, does, does it seem like it's just too high well, for you? This is a series of sight gags on the height of Max Weinberg's new drum platform. Uh, first, the clouds go by. Yeah. No, I'm just asking, you know, for, for a reason. And then the next you know, gag is supposed to be a bird flying through. To ask if, in fact, you think, after you've been used to it for two days, are you too high? I don't know. You know, I've, I've been up here for a couple days, and it seems fine. <laughs> a bird was going to fly by. Now that's Will Smith in the chicken suit. No damn choice, king of poultry. I cut, know a good cut, chicken. Cut, cut. I am not experiencing happy chicken here. <laughs> now I'm a happy chicken. Now it's not easy to walk in that ghetto. <laughs> Hey, get up and try again, Will. Don't be chicken. All right, now there's a lot more coming up, so don't go away. Next, bloopers from Mad About You, plus sports superstars Shaquille O'Neal and Hakeem Olajuwon.
You know, anybody who's spent uh, time with actor Charles Durning knows what a great raconteur he is. Nobody is better at telling a funny story. So naturally, when the script on Evening Shade called for Charles to tell a joke, everybody figured, no problem, right? Wrong. You know, there is a good joke that came out of all this mess. You know what kind of uh, penalties the opponents are going to be calling? Can somebody get under? You know what kind of uh, penalties the opponents are going to be calling on? <laughs> hey, hmm? one good thing came out of this. A good joke came out of this whole mess. Yeah, what's that? You know what kind of penalties the opponents are going to be? Uh, <laughs> you know, one good joke came out of this whole mess. What's that? You know what kind of penalties the opponents are going to be get caught? <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's one good thing came out of this whole. A good joke came out of this whole. Gun. <laughs> On the first World's Greatest Magic Show, we featured a new magician who received such an incredible now, response. Now, Alan Dick is supposed so to introduce magician solution, Brett Daniels. That's B-R-E-T-T, -T -T, Brett. the country with the world's greatest magicians on tour. Don't miss him. Breast, breast, <laughs> breast implant. Yes, welcome, Mr. Breast Implant. Caroline, you have to go back. You can't let them get away with this. Uh, look, I, 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 I. <laughs> Fran, it's fine. People get pregnant. People have babies. It's not the end of the world, you know? Just because we haven't gotten lucky doesn't mean the world stops. The fact that Mindy Bresick's husband is practically right. a eunuch. Sweetie, sweetie, you know what? I've told you a million times. You really just have to learn to... What? What? Relax? No, to be upset. Be as upset as you want to be. <laughs> now, it's Helen Hunt's line here, but she doesn't know it. I hope it's not me. It's you. Oh. Uh, it's me! Oh, right. We have a little. You know, recently, uh, Lisa Gibbons did a show with a, uh, a patriotic theme, and as a part of the promotion for the show, she had to recite something that we all know by heart. I mean, everybody here knows this, the Pledge of Allegiance, right? You know that. Yeah. Watch. I pledge allegiance to the... <laughs> it's not to the flag, it's to the United States. I pledge allegiance to the flag. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Everybody knows the Pledge of Allegiance. Oh. <laughs> busted, busted. You know, there's some professional athletes who can do the impossible in their own sport, but when they're asked to follow a script, that's a whole different ball game. Now, this is Joe Montana trying to say that Volleyball is the fastest sport on the court. The fastest sport on the court. Hmm? Major League Volleyball, the fastest court on the sport. Sport on the court. Major League Volleyball, the fastest court sport on court on the sport. Major League Volleyball, the fastest court on the sport. Major League Volleyball, the fastest court on the sport on the court on the court. On the court. Welcome to Wendy's. May I take your order? Heard a rumor you guys got a quarter pound cheeseburger for 99 cents. Yep. American cheese. Yep. Double pickles and onions. Yes, sir. And an now, Dave Thomas's shot. line is supposed to be, he'll yes, be sorry he missed you. Dave were here, I'd give him a big hug. Oh, I'm probably glad he's not there. <laughs> Welcome to Wendy's. May I take your order? Heard a rumor you guys got a quarter pound cheeseburger for 99 cents. Yep. American cheese. Yep. Extra pickles and onions. Yes, sir. And a double shot of mustard. All for 99 cents. Well, gee, if Dave were here, I'd give him a big hug. <laughs> he probably wish he wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Wendy's. May I take your order? Heard a rumor you guys got a quarter pound cheeseburger for 99 cents. Yep. American cheese. Yep. Extra pickles and onions? All for 99 cents. And a double shot of mustard? <laughs> yes. Gee, if Dave were here, I'd 
Give him a big hug. <laughs> Gee, if Dave were here, I'd give him a big hug. Give me. I know he would really like to see you. <laughs> Now here's a commercial with superstar Shaquille O'Neal and Hakeem Olajuwon. They're great at basketball, but the bike riding? Well, that's another story. Now here they come, two perfectly coordinated athletes. You throw me off. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> Get back up on there. Hurry up now. And now Shaq and Hakeem go one-on-one. -on -one. Crunchy versus soft. Soft, crunchy, soft, crunchy, soft, crunchy, soft, crunchy, soft, crunchy. Oh, you know, our old friend Suzanne Summers made a household word out of the thigh master, and wouldn't you know, she has moved on to the butt master. Seems the only thing that Suzanne can't master is her dialogue. What? Hey, I thought at this stage gravity would have taken over, but with my but uh, this did that is then you. Hi, I'm Wes Sargentson. And I'm Randy Bryce. Buy your tickets now at Ticketmaster for the biggest country music celebration to hit the Thunderdome. Sponsored by WQYS. <laughs> Sorry. Hi, I'm Wes Sargentson. And I'm Randy Bryce. Oh, I forgot who you what I gotta do now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Wes Sargentson. I'm Randy Price. Buy your tickets now for the Super Bowl of Country Music. October 21st at the, the Thunderdome. <laughs> Hi, I'm Wes Sargentson. And I'm Randy Price. Buy your tickets now at Ticketmaster for the biggest country music celebration to hit the Thunderdome. The Super Bowl. <laughs> 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 uh, here's actor Calvert DeForest. You remember him uh, as uh, Larry Bud Melman? Well, this time he's dressed as a bumblebee and... Uh, He's bumbling his lines. For me, this fee outfit did the trick. But for most folks, just knowing, wait on your... I'm sorry. For me, this fee outfit did the trick. But for most... For me, this fee... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Back to what? But for most folks, just knowing what I... For me, this fee outfit did the trick. But for most folks, just knowing what I... For me, this fee outfit did the trick. But for most folks, just knowing what 800 collect saves people up to 44% should suffice. Yeah. Reach, tell me, what do you like best about your carnival cruise? What do I like best? Mm -hmm. The service. I love the service. I mean, besides the service. He's a little slow today, but I love him anyway. <laughs> Now here's Kathy Lee with Robert Wang. We're on a fun ship cruise. We're eating fancy food and doing what we choose. We like our friends back home. To get a good look. If they could see us now out on a fun ship cruise. We're eating fancy food and doing what we choose. We like our friends back home. To get a good look at the first great carnival cruise. Cruise that we took. Strong key for me. If... They could see us now out on a fun ship cruise. We're eating fancy foods and doing what we choose. We like our film. If, 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 if they could see us now out on a fun ship cruise. We're eating fancy foods and doing what we choose. Hey, there's a lot more coming up. Go away. Stay tuned for bloopers from Coach, Hope and Gloria, and the news. <laughs> There's one thing we've learned about bloopers over the years. The, the funny ones only seem to happen on a happy set. I guess that is when everybody is in a good mood and it makes for an atmosphere where anything can happen. Now, I had the opportunity to visit a set like that not too long ago. Now, this is the set of the NBC television series Hope and Glory. Now, it's a very funny show on the air and off the air, behind the scenes, and I have an authority symbol here with an insider's view, <laughs> Cynthia Stevenson. Thank you. I'm so happy, Sam. I'm very, I was really excited because I, I managed to put together some very special moments featuring my fellow actors for you to see. Well, Cynthia, I, you know, you are a sweet person. I hope uh, that you put together scenes that show the, uh, what would we call it, the human side of your cast. It, you mean, you mean the screw up stick? <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I knew I was going to like, you know, but why, why don't we start with your co-star, Jessica Lundy. She, of course, plays uh, Gloria. 
She's dynamite. She's so much fun to work with. She's got everything. She has charisma, timing, energy. Uh, she has a really, really fascinating diction. Now, her, her diction is flawless, I assume. Mm -hmm. Never assume, Dick. <laughs> Gloria, the issue isn't bagels. The bagel is merely a symbol. Plus an important source of fiber. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going somewhere where my home is at the fiber. That's the problem with the cost club is no matter what you go there to buy, you always end up with too money of it. <laughs> too money of it? Because much money, Mango. Wait, 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 when are you coming back? Tomorrow. Oh, no, wait, oh, I can't tomorrow. Because we'll be at work all day and then I gotta take, uh, I gotta take Sunny to say happiness. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Thanks for coming. Give me wait. Oh, boy, you're really flying by the seat of your pants. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I thought, why plan? <laughs> well, if that's what pays us for a date nowadays... Oh, Pisces, I'm sorry. Oh, I took a trip to the South. <laughs> I'm back now. <laughs> Alan Thicke is a very prominent member of the cast. Alan really is a resident old pro. He, he has seen it all. He's been around. He really needs things to go as rehearsed. You know, uh, take this scene where we're all gathered around a hospital bed. Now, Taylor Negron is supposed to step aside so Alan can say his line. Mm -hmm. Watch. Oh, the feeling was mutual. <laughs> what? What about the time Regis Philbin and his uh, wife Joy guested on the show? Well, okay, you know that Alan's character is talk show host Dennis Dupree. So Regis's first line was supposed to be, Dennis, how are you? Hey, that, that sounds simple enough. Yeah. Oh. Lord Regis and Lady Joy Philbin, it is an honor to welcome you to our mm. stage. Alan, how are you? <laughs> Alan, I should have Dennis, Dennis, I met. How are you? To me, they're one of the same guy, you know what I mean? <laughs> Poor Alan. You know, it always seems like everyone keeps messing up around it. I know, but you know, there's something about him. He always manages to take things back into his own hands. I think you're spreading yourself a little thin. I mean, isn't it enough for you just to do your job? Well, maybe for me, Hope, but apparently not enough for my fans. I believe it was the Bible that said, don't hold your... <laughs> It was the Bible that said it, not me. How should I know what the Bible is? Go ahead. Ring for the nurses. We'll see who gets yelled at most. Were you planning to spend the night here? Were you? What if I say yes? What if I say yes? Oh, shut up and back up. I'm wrong. I... <laughs> Hello, Pittsburgh. Welcome to the Dennis DeVry Show. <laughs> we have a very special show for you today as we welcome the cast from NBC's Hit Sisters. Hit Sisters, you idiot. <laughs> you know, the remarkable thing about all of these clips is that uh, you seem to be virtually blooper free. <laughs> I don't know what to say, Dick. Well, that's true. <laughs> Thank you. I, yeah, you know, it's, uh, it's remarkable. It just keeps happening to all my other fellow cast members. <laughs> well, uh, I, I, I just happened to come across a couple that feature you. Really? Who, who, who gave you those, Dick? <laughs> all of your fellow cast members. <laughs> Dennis, for God's sake. <laughs> you know, he's... He's... <laughs> I'm listening. I know. <laughs> we have time. I think you want to believe. You're just afraid. Oh, Dr. Rose, you're here. Great, great, great. Hello. Great. Uh, listen, last night I had a really great dream. One of, one of those really it wasn't great. I'm sorry. I better go again. Hey. <laughs> Jeffrey sent me a flower pot. I believe you're supposed to say teapot with flowers in it. Okay, I'm sorry, I have to go again. Can we go all the way over again? <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, you know, Brittany's gonna, gonna go up there and talk to this guy. Never. I told you about the time I went up and confronted a, a, a person in my last building. That's why. <laughs> well, I hope you can't live in an apartment in Pittsburgh and not expect the occasional human bite. <laughs> I live. A, a, I, I dream of living in a. God darn it. <laughs> Cynthia, thank you for being such a good sport. Oh, thank you, Dick. It was great to have you here. And please let us know uh, next time you're going to pay us a visit. I promise. Great. Okay. Then I'll have some time to alert security. <laughs> <laughs> Cynthia Stevenson, ladies and gentlemen. You know, I think every actor loves a good exit. You know, the kind where the anger builds and the dialogue comes rushing out and you stride purposely toward the door. Well, watch Craig T. Nelson. You know, you hired me to run this program. Now, either I get to decide who's suspended or who's not, then I went out of this program, I went out of this job. I'm leaving, Howard. I am Sirenara. <laughs> You're not serious. Oh, I am very serious. You're I'm not serious. <laughs> Stuart out on the field. Jerry Van Dyke adds an extra syllable to his line coming up. Listen. Just get out. All right. Hi, I'm leaving, but I'm going to tell you one thing, mister, you're going to be... <laughs> what are you wearing? Atlers. I know that. Why? Why? Haven't you been listening to radio? Moose McNeil, the radio disc jockey guy, he's having a contest for the next month. If they, a moose patrol that runs around catching wearing antlers, they... <laughs> <laughs> All right. I tell you, that, that bus driver, when I opened my eyes, he, 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 he'd only stopped about that far from me. And I... <laughs> Open my eyes. <laughs> My nice have seen the glory. Hey, we got a lot more. We'll be right back. Don't go away. <laughs> Next, Elvis in the news and a classic animal blooper. You know, every news person tries to present their story in a a neutral, objective manner, but sometimes the story seems to be so bizarre that your true feelings just have to come out. Elvis Presley will always be the king of rock and roll, but now two authors are suggesting that he was also the Messiah. Jack Malay and Warren Bond have written a book in which they say Elvis was sent to Earth, maybe by God, on a divine mission. They say his mission was to preach love and understanding. Malay well, says, Elvis is still out there. <laughs> Sorry. Elvis. <laughs> Sorry. Elvis is still out there doing good deeds. <laughs> ah, bye. <laughs> Their book is due in stores next week. It has <laughs> best seller written on it. But Crooksville now at 3-1 and one in the MVL and with a couple of big, big victories. You have to look at them right now, I think, as the team to beat for the rest of the season. I can see Crooksville winning now. I really could. And if they do that, they're going to be in the playoffs, it looks like. You know, there's some other tough teams in there in their region, but I think they're going to make it. The Ceramics just played a, an all-around fine, fine game, and we're going to have to do that again. Are you okay? With frost forming in a lot of areas right now at this hour. It's all right. Mm. Cold, huh? On that note, I brought you each a cup of coffee. I don't know. Because do it's trust? not going to get any... <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, there you go. That wasn't supposed to happen. Well, once again, it's time to dust off the colored lights and make things look merry and bright. Hello, I'm weatherman Carl Bell. And at KMST, we'd like to help share the Yuletide spirit. So once again, as in seasons past, we'll capture homes on video and showcase them during my 11 p.m. weathercast. It's called Christmas Caroling. <laughs> Authorities at the scene yesterday arrested 30-year-old William R. Sapp of Columbia, Missouri. Sapp was held overnight here in the... <laughs> Monroe County. <laughs> Make sure you know where we are, Tom. <laughs> Saturday thunderstorms are followed low, eventually of the 70 degrees. Tomorrow, more of the same. Look for 86 and a chance for thunderstorms on and off throughout the day. Hello, Charlie. Nice to see you tonight. As we get into tomorrow night, look... 
It is 6 o'clock on Friday, and for most people, a holiday weekend is getting underway. Our top story tonight... Keep your eye on the water lovers in the background. ...at Lake Mead. Ricky and Dave, it's going great. The sun is just right, the water is perfect, Lake Mead is definitely happening this weekend. Lake Mead is well known as this area's liquid playground, but not everyone is out here on water. That's Nelson Mandela in the press corps. Now watch that cameraman. Second half an hour with News Center 2 at 6. Right now, where are we? Here we are. We go to New York and Gareth Epler with NBC Nightly News. Have a great weekend. Italy's Mario Cipollini has taken the lead at the Tour de France after four stages. And two Americans are now in the top 15. <laughs> Andy Hempston is 13th and Lance Armstrong is 15th. And that is a look at sports tonight. Oh, <laughs> you don't either. For weather action, night, the Gulf of Mexico is quiet. There's one tropical wave way out into the Atlantic over there near Ray somewhere. <laughs> and then we'll find that that's really not too much action going on in the tropics. Now here are the two most powerful men in the world with a powerful case of the giggles. Uh, well now for the first time I can tell you that you're a disaster. <laughs> Be sure you get the right attribution there. Я надеюсь, что вы правильно A new warning about children and cigarette like. <laughs> Now the director's just told this anchor woman a joke okay. in her earpiece. I'm ready now. Okay. okay. Sure you are. Sure. your blooper tape. Okay. Why don't we bring in Jerry over here? Now this is a live on the air surprise on the anchor woman. Her boyfriend is about to walk on camera. Play some music or something. Are we still on the air? I don't know what's going on. Yeah, at least a little bit. Everyone, this is Jerry. Hi, boy. Oh my God. Since I've met you, me being the happiest person, I'm a patient here. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Do you know you? Yes! Oh my God! 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 <laughs> Even the news director's getting into the act. Hey, best wishes. Thank you. Oh, please someone down here to save me. Uh, <laughs> oh, 
I'm looking at the Let's class do. and hoping uh, we're done here, folks, and I'm getting married. <laughs> you know, this show has proven over and over again that to err is human. But these next poopers show that non-humans are no exception. Here's animal expert Jack Hanna in the wrong place at the wrong time. All right, all right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. So cool. <laughs> 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 you see how strong his knuckles are? He's got other methods. <laughs> <laughs> you want Bob? Yeah, I never saw. Yeah, I don't mind doing that, but I just didn't like the little poopsie doops in my face. That's all. You want a good check? Stop my playing. <laughs> Stop me right on the back. Shut up, guy. He's laughing. <laughs> He's laughing at you, Bob. Hey, now that bird in the net has been trained to play this scene with David Hasselhoff. The bird's trainer is standing by off camera to see that everything in the scene goes smoothly. It seems that the only one who hasn't been trained is David. Hold on, I'm going to get this off. Wow. Well, he really got himself wrapped up in there, didn't he? Thank God it's an hour show. It's going to take me about an hour and a half to get this off. <laughs> Here we go again. Hey. Whoa. Looks like the little guy got himself in a little bit of trouble. Well, this time, huh? David has practice. Okay. I'm not going to hurt him. I just got to hold him down while I get this net off. Look at how serious his face is there. All he has to do is pull on the net and slip it right off. Take, the bird decides to help David out himself. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy. You know, I have a way with animals. Hey, you don't want to go anywhere. Wait till you see what's coming up next. Bloopers with LL Cool J, Debbie Allen, Felicia Rashad. Stay tuned. There's a very funny show on NBC called In the House starring LL Cool J and Debbie Allen, and I've known LL for a long, long time, so I decided to stop in on the set and see how things are going. Since you're memorizing, you don't ad lib all these lines. <laughs> this has been a real good year for you getting your own series. It's a, it's a lot of hard work, though, isn't it? Well, Dick, I'm surrounded by people who really make it easy. Take Debbie Allen. Oh, yeah. I mean, there is a true pro. There is a woman who really knows how to execute a line. Oh, yeah, I've seen her kill quite a few this year. <laughs> hey, Mom, how's Heather's party coming? Let's just say when they light the birthday candles on that cake. Let's just say that when they light the candles on that cake, it's going to be a... D <laughs> hey, Mommy, mm. how's Heather's party going? Let's just say... <laughs> Mom, how's Heather's party coming? Let's just say that when they like the camp. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> now, I understand Debbie's sister, uh, Felicia Rashad, guested on the show? Yeah, Debbie was really excited for that show. A little too excited. <laughs> Jackie, Jackie! Woo! Oh, I'm sorry about that flower bed. Oh, that's all right. At least I'm. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so excited she made it. <laughs> <laughs> now, Dick, you know that doll they sell us all dressed up for the beach? You mean uh, the Malibu Barbie? Yeah, that's what Debbie meant to say in the scene. Ah. <laughs> Hand me that bag. It's time to pass out the drink. No. Oh. For you. Oh, what a lovely scarf. <laughs> It's a dress, Jackie. Oh. For who? Menopause Barbie? Oh. <laughs> hey, tell me about the scene. Was it, it involved, a, was it a chess game? Yeah, well, when people are playing a serious chess match, they usually have a timer which they set immediately to time their moves. Yeah. Now, I said you're supposed to hit it immediately. Watch what John Amos does. Yeah. <laughs> what? What? 
delayed reaction. <laughs> hey, 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 Oliver. You know, we've all heard about people who, uh, what is it, can't walk and chew gum at the same time. Well, Dick, on this show, we can all walk and chew gum, all right? And it's walking and talking that gives us a problem. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you so much, Marion. Mm -hmm. Now, not to seem ungrateful, but would you mind leaving and take the white shadow with you? I'm sorry. I'm... <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> now, not to sound ungrateful, would you... <laughs> <laughs> Marion, thank you so much. Not to seem ungrateful, but would you mind leaving and taking Howdy Doody with you? No problem, man. Clayton, let me grab my... B oh, <laughs> got me too. Hi, I'm Betty. <laughs> now, Ella, on our last blooper special, we showed an outtake of you and Debbie at the door. Of the it wasn't these doors. No, though. it was the front door. And front. you blew a line. Just one? Hey, <laughs> put it this way, Dick. That day, LL stood for learn your lines, huh? <laughs> What's your problem? I don't think he's reliable. Reliable? I've known Sam for 16 years. He always looked out for me and he'll look out for them. Now you can cut him and yourself a break and disappoint your daughter or you can... Yeah, what? I huh? did. I did. I did. What's your problem? I don't think he's reliable. Reliable? Yeah. Uh, don't ask me. Don't ask me. Don't ask me why. Do not ask me why. What's your problem? I don't think he's reliable. Reliable? I've known Sam for 16 years. He always looked out for me and he'll look out for them. Now you can cut him and yourself a break, or you can disappoint your daughter and spend the next another Saturday night. Yeah, and all that. And on the bloopers they did it. And it was on the bloopers that week. <laughs> that week was on the bloopers. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, at least I got that part right. You betcha, and it's here. Thank you ever Thank so you. much. Nice to be with you. Okay. LL Cool J. You know, shows like the Daytime Emmys and the Soap Opera Awards show the talented performers of daytime at their absolute best. Now, this show uh, relaxes those standards a little bit. Take a look at these wonderful daytime performers. Now, in this scene, Deidre Hall is possessed by the devil. Abe? Oh, hey, thank heaven you're here. I can't say thank heaven. I'm sorry. <laughs> Tony. <laughs> Big plans. <laughs> now, a professional actor will keep going until the director yells, cut. <laughs> uh, cut. Oh, my stomach. Well, it doesn't have to end for us. We could just continue the party right here. Are you suggesting what I think you're suggesting, Mr. Devereaux? Well, Mrs. Devereaux, does the idea appeal to you? Yes, I think it's a great idea. Okay. Well, then. One, two, you three. You cannot go four, one night without brushing five, your teeth a hundred times. Six, seven, awesome. Seven. <laughs> Brushing your hair a hundred times. Sorry. <laughs> Watch for the fly that circles Linda Dano's face. <laughs> Watch Bill Carey have some trouble with names. More coffee, madam? Do you have a problem with that? <sighs> That's your fifth cup, Alice. Where are my nuts? Who the hell is Alice? <laughs> Now, the stage manager off-camera in this scene is named oh, oh, oh. Ray. That's quite a tip, even for a champagne breakfast. Why not? Wages you pay. A man's as happy as I am, Ray. I just hate stage managers named Ray. Just... In case you have forgotten, you have been fired. Just go for now. Please, don't do this. But just go for now. I'll call you later. You low-life, scavenging, parasitical scum. That's it. That's all I have to say. That's it. Cut! Cut, Cut and strike. I think so. Just take it easy, Dad. You've got your own foot, Adam. How did uh, you get loose? Yeah, well, make sure so sure they didn't follow you here. Yeah. How, do you have any idea where they were holding you? Did you see what their faces looked like? Were they wearing masks? <laughs> 
I didn't mean to overwhelm you. No, no, it's not, it's not your fault. Uh, now, the line I that's coming up for Drake Hogeston is, I'm talking about what's best yeah, yeah, for us. This, Doc, we <clears throat> got a lot to consider here, and I'm not just talking about my bowels. I'm talking about what's best. Be, what, what, what breasts? <laughs> hey, we still have more. Don't go away. We'll be right back with our grand finale blooper. Country singer Rhonda Vincent. Now watch very closely as Rhonda. She's great. I want to work with her. And that produced this album called Written in the Stars. Please welcome a very talented and lucky lady, Rhonda Vincent. <laughs> Now keep your eye on the microphone as the curtain goes up. And I hear No, 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 just a second, just a second. You know, we're just happy it didn't grab your dress on the way out. So. Now, that's a good example of how the show must go on, but unfortunately, this show must go off. For now, Dick Clark, good night.